Okay, I got this snowblower from my neighbor, I want to say at least two months ago. It's been sitting just over there for that time. It's a Craftsman 1030. As you can see, it's definitely missing one important thing, which I do have it right here. I just finished uh, taking the axle out of it. It uh, broke the axle. Originally, I was considering fixing it. I had found the parts for it, but after looking it over, it's not worth fixing. There's a lot of play in the front on both on both uh, augers. Um, it's supposed to run, so hence the extension cord. So verify that it will start and run right now it does have gas in it i was i believe it was used last season and they hauled it back from uh their cottage up north for me um it was given to them by neighbor one of their neighbors up north so let's uh just see if it will start a little bit of play on the carburetor that's not a big deal that could just be a loose screw let's just verify that for a second now oh, they're there I think it's just the mechanism I don't want to stand on the muffler side I think this would probably make a good replacement engine for somebody and I've never tried to start it let's uh, see what happens Definitely not bad. I was actually about to let off on the button there. Uh, I don't know if this has a fuel shut off. Mm, nope. So whatever it's getting for fuel, it's getting for fuel. So the plan is that engine will come off and the rest of this is going for scrap. So there we go. Good uh, 10 horsepower Tecumseh snowblower engine. These original engines are getting harder and harder to find because everyone loves them and they are pretty well unstoppable for snowblowers. Let's uh, fire it up once more, see if it'll start up just as it is. Okay, there we go. Um, shut it off. I had to film a quick little short in there, so this video will be uh, edited together. But it uh, seems to run good. It would actually probably start right back up again. In the short, it didn't really want to shut off at first when the throttle went all the way down, but that has since started working, but let's just verify. Yep, there we go. This actually runs uh, better than my uh, snowblower I used in the wintertime. And it has uh, a couple more features, which I wish mine actually had. But uh, I'm not saving this engine for mine. It's a little bit too big. Um, they changed the design a little bit between the 8 and 12 horsepower. The, uh, the height of the crankshaft is a little bit different. I have tried to swap them in the past. And they're not a straight, straight on bolt in, unfortunately. Also, I think mine uses the separate pulley for reverse. I don't know if this one has that. And I'd rather sell this engine anyways. So there we go. Uh, Crossman 1030 snowblower for parts runs. So I'll talk to them later.
please keep it redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment